Hey everyone, welcome back to the second day for Tuesday! We did it! Whole day after clap. Whoop. Do we, we do nothing. I don't know what we do on Tuesdays. Let's figure something out. We need a new meme. When Apex Legends got off to a huge start earlier this month, some people were wondering if this was the end of the road for Fortnite. Apex. Wait, wait. What do you mean, Anthem? God damn it, no! We're reporting on the other video game now. <laughs> All right, there's more than one. Fortnite has ruled the Battle Royale roost for a while now, surpassing direct competitors like PUBG and becoming that crossover game that even your parents have heard about. Yeah, I remember when people were hiring coaches for their kids to get good or when Ninja taught a bunch of glass-eyed normies to floss on New Year's Eve. I'm not seeing enough movement. Seems like a lifetime ago. I wish it would end. But Apex <laughs> has taken some attention away from the big F after developer Respawn released it earlier this month. Its gameplay and unique ping system have drawn millions of players and it's been a bright spot for EA after letdowns like Battlefield 5 and possibly that other game that we keep talking about every day. Mm, let's not do it. But there's a new sign that Fortnite could be uh, in trouble where it hurts the most, the wallet. Uh, why is that, Brian? Well, analyst firm Superdata just released some stats on the worldwide video game digital market and it looks like Fortnite Fortnite had a really big drop off last month. Ooh. Tell us more. Yes. Well, it saw its revenue across all platforms drop 48% in mm. January compared to December. Now granted, December, it's a big holiday month. There's a lot of kids spending their Christmas money on new skins, but still that's a really big dip. That's almost half. Superdata added that the drop points to an increasingly and lumpy revenue profile heading into 2019. That's what I tell my I, girlfriend. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have a lumpy yeah. profile heading into 2019. Dear God. So that translates into, we can't can't really predict what Fortnite's financials are going to look like this year, and it's possible that Apex Legends and other unforeseen competitors could take a huge bite out of it. Now keep in mind that Apex didn't release until February, yeah. so this dip in revenue doesn't even take its competition into account. The bumpy ride for Fortnite could just be getting started. Yeah, so wh what are we looking at in 2019, Brian? What's it looking like out there? Um, it looks like Apex Legends, not a huge surprise, is going to be Fortnite's biggest competition. It got off to a fast start. Uh, you remember when Vince Zampella of Respawn was putting out all those blogs going, we're doing fucking great. It said uh, after their first week, more than 25 million players checked out the game and they peaked at over 2 million concurrent two players. 2 million concurrent? That's over 1 million. So we haven't gotten more updated numbers yet, so we don't really know how those numbers have changed, but there are other indicators that Apex is still going strong. Right, we checked Twitch this morning and Apex oh, Legends was the top viewed game at 161,000 viewers. Uh, Fortnite, meanwhile, had about 94,000. Yeah, that doesn't mean that the F word is down and out though. What's going on with Fortnite? Well, Epic said it recently hit some record numbers of its own when it comes to Fortnite and concurrent players. On February 16th, not that long ago, Epic said it hit 7.6 million concurrent players. Epic said that was a non-special event record for the game. That's oh. what I also and just a week before that, event. they had that end game concert by Marshmello. It drew 10.7 million players to Fortnite. So that was, I guess that was a special event record. I also told my girlfriend every night that there's oh, some marshmallow concert. In that's bed. right. And you know what they say, the kids love a free concert from an anthropomorphic marshmallow. Zoomer moths to the trap flame, they say. They love that, they love that broken beat. So right now it seems like uh, both games are peacefully coexisting. Just in comparing Twitch numbers, Apex has peeled some fans away from Farg, nope. But that doesn't mean that Fortnite is going away anytime soon. Still though, those financial numbers are probably cause for concern at Epic. Yeah, it's probably why they're giving away Fortnite's upcoming season eight battle pass for free. It normally costs 950 V-Bucks, which is less than $10. They probably had a game plan, right? They knew that another competitor was gonna come calling, so let's just let's just toss out freebies to the audience, like when the dude throws his guitar picks at the end of the concert. Nobody mm. wants those things, they're just plastic. Yeah, you know, sometimes they throw pogs out of the swap mate. What year is it? Epic also just released a teaser image for the new season that will kick off later this week on Thursday. It seems like it might be a pirate theme there. There's lots to talk about treasure and X marks the spot. Is it the year of the pirates? I don't know. That is R, I'm seeing me player base threatened by a scurvy dog. <laughs> Captain Jack. Jack no, Sparrow keep... doesn't sound that way. He's a new take on pirates. So we're talking about tired Johnny Depp or current Johnny Depp? What's the difference? Exactly. Brian, should we be feeling bad for For Who Not Who? No, it oh. made a lot of booty last year, just to continue pirates. the pirate uh, metaphor. Uh, uh, classic line the, from Pirates. We love there. pirates here, whatever show this is. According to Superdata, Fortnite made $2.4 billion last year, which it called the most annual revenue of any game in history. Man, even if Fortnite is on the way down, Epic has used all that loot to start its own game store. It's a pretty smart move. That means they'll keep having an ongoing revenue stream, even if other competitors start to bite off the popularity of Fortnite. And speaking more broadly, 2018 was a huge year for free play console games. Superdata said those games made 458% <gasps> more revenue in 2018 
compared to the year before. Of course, Fortnite success was a big reason for that. And it's also probably why we saw Apex Legends release as a free to play game and then follow the same monetization route that for High Moon Nights it, it did. You kids gotta save up for college, this isn't right. So while players get annoyed with microtransactions and full price games, turns out they're a lot more willing to accept them in a game they got for free. Weird, right? I guess you got 60 bucks kicking around that you didn't have to pay for the game in the first place. So you can just buy a hat, whatever. Yeah, get the hat, why not? Game's free. On to the other big battle royale game. So PUBG made more than $1 billion last year, which is less than half of, you know, what Fortnite made. But you know, it's still a billion freaking- It's a billion dollars. It's a billion dollars, Stan. I got used to not thinking about PUBG, but apparently they still got a really active player base that spends a lot of money, crazy. I know Apex is still the newcomer. Where are they at right now, Brian? It's still doing well. It's, it's not even a month old, so we don't have any metrics or numbers to play no. with, but obviously the game has found an audience as you can tell by how many people are watching it on Twitch. Like the only thing that we can look at right now because it's still such a baby. It's so weird. It feels like it's been years since Apex Legends came out, but. At least we have something and you can actually look at the revenue model. You know, there are coins that they sell. Yeah. And you're like, well, someone's paying $100 for this thing. People but like skins. There are some small bumps to note though, such as an issue the with character hit boxes. Girlfriend bed small bumps. Where's your, hit, where's your hit box? Oh, it's uh, it, it changes on, okay. by the day. Even I don't know sometimes. Oh, there's weird issues. Mine's still like, my dick. Dear God. Going back to the hitbox issue, apparently there's a weird <laughs> range, like Gibraltar's hitbox being 140% bigger than Wraith's. Wraith's? He's a big guy. <laughs> Shouldn't he be bigger? Easier I, to hit. Makes sense. I guess so to prevent another odd job situation, this is a throwback to a game that came out 30 years ago, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, something. You like, had you to play it with like, it was like a stick and hoop game. That's and right. the odd job wheel was really small and no one could hit it with a stick. My old grandpappy would turn the crank to get the N64 to work on Christmas Eve. But anyway, community manager posted in the game subreddit that they are very much aware of the situation and they are talking about it. I gotta keep that machine running smoothly so it keeps printing money. Yes, absolutely. But they've been pretty good. They've been attentive yeah. to the audience. It's a fun game. Whatever, yeah. man. What are we looking at in 2019, Brian? Well, as for the Apex Legends versus Fortnite battle for your loose chain, it's a safe bet that both are going to do well this year. Fortnite might do less well this year now that it's got more competition, but with games like PUBG still pulling in a billion dollars, it's still a really good time to be a battle royale game. They're not going broke anytime soon. God damn. Right. I guess the question though is what does this mean for gaming in general? If you like free to play battle royales, that's cool and stuff, but I guess buckle up because we're basically in for a few years of every other developer rushing out to the market to get a piece of that big old billion jillion dollar yeah. pie. We've been here before, you know, dating all the way back to 93's Doom, even for that Pac-Man and a million knockoffs of that. One developer finds a hidden market that no one else knew existed and everyone else dogpiles on to carve off a piece of that action. Don't forget the big MMORPG gold rush in the 2000s, went from Ultima Online to EverQuest to Final Fantasy XI, and then World of Warcraft. And World of Warcraft kind of filled all the space in the room, and then everyone else that was four years into development on an MMO had to eat their losses. Oh, but don't forget when there was the big lot of MOBAs, like beyond League of Legends, sadly no one could really duplicate its success, which is funny because all those games look exactly the same, at least to us. Pour one out for Heroes of New Earth, I guess, and I guess Dota still has a pretty good fan base. Yeah, yeah. auto chess, baby. So there's a long history of studios jumping in on whatever's popular. Uh, superhero movies, it just happens in every art form. Sure. Just think of all the mobile developers chasing your mom. I mean, Candy Crush money. So I guess it's safe to say that we'll be seeing more Battle Royale games before we see fewer of them. And uh, that reminds me, you think anyone's gonna actually play Firestorm next month? What is Firestorm? Wherever Bruce is, oh. he just shouted in joy. Probably freaked everyone out in the Chipotle. No, he's playing Apex, dude. I'm curious, because I'm excited for, for Firestorm. I like Battlefield 5 a lot. It does feel like the 40-year-old version of video games now. A little too late. Brian, you gonna play Firestorm? It, it feels like a how do you do fellow kids game at this point. Gosh. Yeah. Firestorm is the equivalent of movies that started with, and I can only think of two of them, with the main cast air surfing down somewhere. It's a Steven Seagal direct to video movie, James which is all he's done for 20 Power years. Rangers, that's the yeah. one. What's the second one? Batman and Robin. That'll do it for today's episode of Inside Gaming Daily. We'll see you guys tomorrow where we'll try our hardest to double our no anthem streak. We'll see. We said it, you, but just as a friend. <laughs> that's a game equivalent of the Postmates guy ate half your fries on the drive over. He does what he does. The gaming equivalent of about to get a tit pick, but your phone is at 2% battery. Oh yeah, that's like the gaming no. equivalent of the, right, stop. What, what, what? We're done, we're done, let's just Come on, on, I can go forever. Uh. It was all day. <laughs> Gamers are out. All right, Anthem is a games as a service game.